So, you want a nice body so people will have sex with you. Well, you can't have a flubber gut. You'll fart. You want to fart during sex? That's your plan? That's not a good plan. Go vegan, motherfucker. Make a muffin. You couldn't even kill a rubber ducky, son. If you had to hunt. So, you want a body that doesn't look like you got stepped on by a pack of muskrats? That's a, it's a worthy goal. I applaud you for it. Well, you can't just sit on your ass and expect magic to happen in your life. You gotta go get it. What do you think of the wide angle? Everything's in sight. It's just, there's so much happening. Oh my god, it's information overload. So, today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about the body. And how to build a thunder god sex. Thing. I have the vocabulary of a seven-year-old. I get it. I know that. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> so, there's two ways, three, to get a nice body. Nice body. So, really two. Some people like to run, and to them I just say, where are you going? Where are you going? You just, you run and you came back. You didn't get anything. Where's your stuff? You didn't get nothing. You just ran and came back. You're an idiot. So there's those people. Then there's the cyclists who also do the same thing, only they go even farther. Some of them come back with groceries and congratulations, you did something with your life. <laughs> but if you want a body worth having sex with, when you're a Thundercat, you're just, it's obvious every time you walk by the mirror, you just, hey, I'll stop. So going back to the two ways you can build a sex machine. You can lift heavy things, like a Neanderthal. You pick up rocks, bring it back to your wife, and she's like, I don't remember asking for that, but thanks, I suppose. But I'm sleeping with Henry now picking up rocks. Henry is having sex with your wife. Where am I going with this? I don't... So you could pick up heavy things like an uncouth savage. Or you develop the full mind-body connection and lift your own body. When you lift a weight, you're not one. You're not one. Whereas when you lift your own body, there's a connection. Okay, I'm gonna try to be serious for a second. I couldn't do it. I haven't lifted a weight in years, probably. I'm just building a body, doing body weight exercises only. That's what I'm doing. That's the path I chose because I want to see what can be done. And I get a lot of comments saying, you can't, you've reached your limit. You have to lift weights now to get bigger. If only you would lift weights, you'd see those gains, man. Come on. I don't want your dumbbell gains. I want to see what can be done. And I want to say something here. This is crazy. People think I need weights. Can you do a one-armed pull-up? F no, you can't. You're telling me to curl dumbbells. You can't even do a one-armed pull-up or a one-armed push-up or a one-legged squat. You can master your body with just body weight exercises. There's progressions. I'm learning the progressions now. I'm working my way towards the one-armed push-up. I can kind of do it, but it's I'm too weird. I'm like legs fully spread like I'm about to charge men for money to invade my privacy. I guess that is illegal. Where was I? I lost my train of thought after the sex part. Spread your legs. Oh yeah, I'm getting close to the one-armed push-up. And it's just, in my opinion, the calisthenics are superior. Absolutely superior to your dumbbell bitch 
workouts. There are some functional weightlifting exercises. I'm not trying to be a complete asshole here. Like the deadlift lifts, it lifts. It works like almost every muscle in your body. It's like a pretty, it's a useful and functional exercise. I mean, we pick things up. I could see that helping if some grandmother dropped her TV on the sidewalk and she needed you to carry it home. I would ask Vegan Gains to go do that, congratulations. But the calisthenics work, the entire body, it's just the connection. It's, it's something like more powerful. I'm going to start challenging anybody I see to arm wrestles and I'm going to rip all their arms off. That's, that's always been my goal in life. I'm telling you, I want to be unassumingly strong. You look at me and you think, it doesn't look that strong, but... I took a trial Muay Thai class a couple of years ago before I even started working out and there was this like six foot three Ukrainian guy who for some reason was like trying to bond with me. He felt we had a connection, I wasn't feeling it. But we were like talking, he was teaching me some things and he asked me if I wanted to arm wrestle him and I was like, let's do it. And he could not budge my arm. I couldn't budge his either. But when you think of like how much bigger and stronger he looked, and he couldn't move my arm. I am stronger because I'm vegan, one, and because I'm vegan. That's, there's only, that's the only reason. Point is, I'm not sure I have a point, just that I love calisthenics. I love body weight exercises. And if you're looking for an exercise to do, I highly recommend you start doing some push-ups. You try to do some pull-ups, you do some squats. Just start slow. Start with the beginner exercises, and you don't need a gym. There's no reason to not do it anywhere. The only thing you need is a bar to pull yourself up on, and you can find one almost anywhere. You can go out and find a tree if you don't have a bar. There's got to be a park near you that has those bars, or you can get the one that fits in your door thing, door frame. Just start. Start today. You can do it. I believe in you. Actually, that's your body? I'm, you could still do it, I suppose, but... Oh my god. <laughs> if my skin looks like shit today, it's because I've been eating two meals of pasta a day for the past like three days. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I just, I bought some pasta and I had it and then I had to finish the container of sauce and then I bought another bag and it's overlapping with the bag size and the sauce size. So I'll, I'll, I'll make my way through it. It's not the best food for the skin, apparently, and we live with it. So what? Don't judge me. I, I just farted. And it does smell like cat food. I'd be lying if I said it didn't. But that's the price you pay for two meals of pasta a day. So it's a strange thing, that wheat. Okay, I think we're done here. I just wanted to test this camera. I just got it. It's the Sony X3000, and I'm so excited. I'm not going to use it around the house, just because it's not very good quality in low light. I will still use my baby. My baby, I love you. This is my love. When we're talking about technology at least. That's my house camera, but I can do some fun things with this. It has the slow motion. Let's try it. Oh, hi, I have a package. I'm sure I'll find a better use for that mode. But until then, I thank you for watching anyway. And thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down. If you lifted weights today, you loser. What a loser.
No, I, I respect you for bettering your body. I'm not against weights, but I prefer the calisthenics. It's like a cult. You get into it, you're just like, yeah, this is the way. Once you believe in something, you go with it. You just go with it. It's important to be elastic in your thinking, but I'm not going to change. I see no reason to. What am I going to buy a bunch of clutter weights? How am I going to travel with weights? So I think we're done here. Thanks for watching. The thumbs have been established. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Buy a vegetable police shirt. I know I don't have one on my beautiful body right now, but doesn't mean you shouldn't buy one still. I'll leave.